If you talk to any interior decorator, they'll say floor and window coverings are key in bringing out the beauty of a room and the personality of its occupant. That's whether you're talking about a house or a palace. New pre-production rugs were installed yesterday at Iolani Palace, and it now looks a lot more like it did when King Kalakaua and Queen Kopiolani stroll the hallway. It completely changes the light in the rooms. It changes what we've seen with the other rugs as well as it changes the, the sound quality. So it's really a bringing these rooms to life and making them look much more like they looked during the, the period when the king and queen were actually in the palace. Iolani Palace curator Heather Diamond raving about the new rugs in the King Kalakaua and Queen Kopiolani bedrooms. They were just installed yesterday. The rugs were woven in Nepal using 100% Tibetan wool. Each rug hand loomed in one piece. They've been a legacy of love and a lot of textile sleuthing. The project began in 2006 with the previous palace curator, Stuart Ching. It began with looking back at old black and white photographs and archival records. Palace officials worked with a textile historian from Delaware. Then a lot of work went into determining the patterns and the colors. The blue in Kalakaua's room comes from one of the furnishings. We have a vase in this room called the Prometheus vase, and that color is called peacock blue, and that was an inspiration for getting the colors for the draperies and the carpets, using the kinds of colors that were popular at the time. Queen Kupi'olani's room is a stunning red. The textile project included not only rugs, but curtains and bed hangings as well. It all adds up to a look that makes a visitor to the palace, well, feel almost at home. When people walk in, it's really walking back in the history. I think so. I think that people have the experience of, of stepping into a space and feeling the way people would have felt seeing it. And it looks so nice. While much of the textile research and the work done was paid through federal grants, individual donors continue to be the driving force behind the palace. These rugs were paid for by the Dolores Furtado Martin Foundation and Olivia Dujane. They're two of the palace's most ardent supporters. And look at that money well spent there. It adds so much life mm -hmm. to the room. And you have to imagine all the time it took to kind of place like a, like a detective to figure out the colors and the patterns. Just patterns looking at that one photograph. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Great work they've done there.